This week, a surgeon at Denver Health is in the operating room learning a new procedure, gender reassignment surgery, male to female. Denver Health will become the only hospital in Colorado and one of a select few in the entire country to offer that surgery. CBS4 Health Specialist Kathy Walsh found it's challenging for the surgeon and rewarding for the patient. You're just going to run it up that side. It is complicated. And not through your vessels and your nerves. Step by step. These surgeons are changing a biological male to female. I think everyone's feeling confident about it so far. This operating room at Denver Health is a classroom. Dr. Chris Carey is learning from Dr. Marcy Bowers of California. This is her specialty. We have a, a four plus year waiting list now for patients just waiting to get in for surgeries. Marcy was once Mark. A few years after her own gender reassignment surgery, she moved to Colorado, Trinidad, to study the procedure. I took over from a legend, Dr. Stanley Biber. Bowers is the first transgender woman to perform gender reassignment surgeries. 1,800 surgeries later? Dr. Bowers is an unquestioned leader in this type of surgery. And providing access to the highest quality health care for patients, including transgender patients, is part of the mission of Denver Health. Many of them have been waiting their entire lives, as long as they can remember, for these types of surgery. It's life-changing for them. Now a trainee, Dr. Carey's goal is to train other surgeons. We already have approximately 100 patients that are in our system now who are candidates for surgery. To see how happy they are to finally get the care that they need is gratifying. Starting in July, Denver Health plans to offer one or two gender reassignment surgeries a week. The hospital anticipates the need to expand as word spreads about this new service. I'm Kathy Walsh, covering Colorado First. And Denver Health is expected to become a destination for transgender patients hoping for that surgery. Already people from Michigan and Wyoming have contacted the hospital.